one right now, Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry has taken the podium to update us on the investigation into the death of George Floyd. Let's listen in. Mayors can shape events in their city, but more often than not, it's events in our city that shape us. There are precedents and protocols sitting in the reserves of institutions just like this one that will give you about a thousand reasons not to do something, not to speak out, not to act so quickly. And I've wrestled with more than anything else over the last 36 hours, one fundamental question. Why is the man who killed George Floyd not in jail? If you had done it, or I had done it, we would be behind bars right now. And I cannot come up with a good answer to that question. And so I'm calling on Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman to act on the evidence before him. I'm calling on him to charge the arresting officer in this case. We cannot turn a blind eye. It is on us as leaders to see this for what it is and call it what it is. George Floyd deserves justice. His family deserves justice. The black community deserves justice. And our city deserves justice. I'll, ask, I'll stand for any questions. No. Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you straight up. So the question was, um, can I elaborate a little bit more on my belief that the arresting officer should be charged, and yes. We watched for five whole excruciating minutes as a white officer firmly pressed his knee into the neck of an unarmed, handcuffed black man. I saw no threat. I saw nothing that would signal that this kind of force was necessary. By the way, there, <laughs> that particular technique that was used is not authorized by the MPD. It is not something that officers are trained in on uh, and should not be used, period. And so, in so many of these horrible instances in which law enforcement tragically kills a member of our community, we are talking about split-second decisions. In so many of these instances, we are talking about four or five or six seconds, sometimes less where a decision was made that tragically killed somebody and, and impacted a whole community. We are not talking about a split second decision that was made incorrectly. There's somewhere around 300 seconds in those five minutes, every one of which the officer could have turn back, every second of which he could have removed his knee from George Floyd's neck, every one of which he could have listened to community around him, clearly saying that he needed to stop, every one of which you heard George Floyd himself articulating the pain he was feeling, an inability to breathe. I can't see coming to a different answer there. And I think it's incumbent on all of us to say that. Thank you. No, I have not yet. Understood the reality of the past. 
present, Winston. Now, to the future. The question, how does one man insert power over another? Are they making him suffer? Exactly. Obedience is not enough. Power is inflicting pain and humiliation, otherwise you cannot be sure. Power is tearing human minds apart and putting them together again in new shapes of your own choosing. Power is not a means, it is an end. 